Fragility used to be seen as a low-income problem. Today, we know that it affects countries at all income levels. Climate change, natural disasters and other risks combine to cause more instability. The ongoing famine is a tragic example. The World Bank Group is responding because extreme poverty is linked. By 2030, 60% of the global poor will live in conflict-affected areas. To tackle fragility, humanitarian development partnerships are critical. Will be, today will be my third meeting with King Abdullah. The World Bank brings an extraordinary analytical capacity and a longer-term outlook that allows for proper investments in areas like education and livelihoods and also support to communities hosting large numbers of refugees and displaced. The bank is focusing on preventing violent conflict. During conflict, the bank will remain engaged and help countries through transition and recovery. In Yemen, the bank is working with UN partners to keep up critical services like vaccinations for children. Creating jobs is helping communities. In the Central African Republic, bank support for the country's transition has had transformational impact. Il y a eu beaucoup d'investissements de la part de la communauté internationale, hein, les, les pays amis et autres, et, y compris la Banque mondiale. Donc, nous sommes en train de sortir. Gender-based violence is an important focus of prevention. Empowering women economically helps build peace. The Global Crisis Response Platform is strengthening the bank's response for both low- and middle-income countries. This is the frontier of development. The bank and the global community can make a real difference to build a more stable world with opportunities for all. Their futures depend on it.